Hey my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Year of Cookie Connect once again. Thank you so very much for joining me on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia. We're going to go on a little bit of a field trip. Now I'm going to take you guys to the Bitola Pazar. If you haven't seen the video where I've done the Skopje Bit Pazar, I will put the link to that video below in the description box and at the end of this video. So guys, come along with me and my friend Kathy from Canada, who is Macedonian, but uh, we always meet up in Macedonia every summer, so I was glad to have her with me. So let's go. I present to you guys the Bitola Pazar. <laughs> So today we're at the Bitola Pazar and um, much like the Skopje Bit Pazar and if you haven't seen that video I shall put a link to it below um, but this one is in Bitola and here we're looking at some uh, Planina Chai which is the mountain teas and all the vendors I mean there are clothing and shoes and hardware um, but I'm more interested in the fruits and vegetables and the cheeses and food. Beautiful apples. And there's the Bukovic Piper, Bukovska, Bukovska, Bistrička, Bala, Chinka. And look at these beautiful peppers here. This region of Macedonia is really known for their peppers. These are beautiful. These beautiful grapes here. And there's, as I said, other wares, jewelry, clothing, bags. And I've come with my friend Kathy from Canada. And um, in certain parts of the market, we found out something. If you're over six feet, watch your head. <laughs> so let's, what are you looking for, Kat? I just bought some beautiful clothing for my nieces. Okay. And I'm just looking for other knickknacks. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so Kathy's gonna get some Bukowska. <laughs> and she's getting some sweet. Imaš luto? Imam luto Bukowska. Okay. Blago ne imam luto. Ova ne, ova je blago. Ova je za gotkajnje. O, no, sakam Bukowska. Bukowska sakaš? Ova ne. Ne, sakam. Ova luta. Ova je malo This is hot. Ova je mnogo, to je blago. Od koje sakate od nekako. So that's sweet, that's very hot, that's hot and that's very hot. Ne, ne, ne. Ova je... Od nekako moži? Šove, šova? To je mnogo luta. Okay. Very hot. So Kathy is getting the Bukovska peeper, which you've seen in my videos many, many times. She's going for a hot, then there's very hot, and then there's sweet. Dosta, dosta, dosta. <laughs> She's got enough. She's telling her stop. It's enough. So, this is you've seen in my videos a lot um, for the kebab china, or you can put it in cooking, klein la chorba, you can put it in soups, um, however you like. And that was 50 dinars. So, that's less than one euro. It's just a little over one Canadian dollar. Fala! Beautiful, huge grapes. Plums, more grapes. Keep your kitchen clean or your patio. Now here's the honey. And look at all these nuts and honey. Of course, all the nuts, raisins, we got some fresh farm eggs and quail eggs too by the looks of it. More housewares here, clothing, 
more food. The Macedonians love fresh produce and you will have the best cucumbers and tomatoes and hot peppers here in Bitola in Macedonia. So the Pazars are pretty much the same like in Skopje where they are in sections. Uh, there is rhyme and reason to the chaos. Here you'll find uh, the freshest eggs and they're priced according to size and grade. Whoops! <laughs> that wouldn't be funny. And here, you know, unfortunately some of them are gone, but here the, is where I buy a lot of my clay pottery. My tepsia. So I'm going to have a look around here and uh, we'll be back. Olives, and beans, rice. This is usually the rice that the Macedonians use. It's more like an arborio rice. And lentils to make your lakia. Of the bitosko graf. Da kaide. Uh huh. So these are local, they're the best. More olives, olive oil, homemade toshio. Mm, it smells so good. Oh. Nuts. So if you're anything Beautiful. like me, who loves anything pickled, you'd be in heaven here. More olives. But look at all of this. Pickled peppers. Toshia. All homemade. Beautiful. No gubab. My mouth isn't watering. Speaking of which, in the market they do have fountains everywhere. This gentleman's washing his peaches. Probably will eat them. Fresh. Very Just fresh. walking outside this building, one can smell the strong aroma of cheese. Wow. Fresh cheese. It smells so good in here. So we're in a mlekara, which basically means like a milk house, kind of like a pizzeria would be for pizza, but this would be for things that our milk product based, obviously, cheese in this scenario. Mixed cheese, this is very good. Vienna is my favorite cheese. I love it. So, Kathy's getting peaches, nectarines, there's pears. What are you going to get, Kathy? They smell really good mm. and fresh. Yeah. She only wants a couple. We don't live here, so we're not buying a bushel. Just outside the Pazar um, is the old 
part of town and um, again they're in sections um, housewares um, ironmongers restaurants cafes and this is a very very old um, section of Bitola as a matter of fact it was very important it was the crossroads for north south east and west and traders would come here selling spices from the east and the south and fabrics and cheeses and they would come on horseback or camel and they would stay in the market some iron works here and it was known as a rich market why because it had second and sometimes third floors and that was considered a well-to-do market much like the old bazaar area of Skopje Kathy and I are gonna go for a drink yeah because it's hot so that's a bit of the market and show you a little bit of the streets as we go We're going to rest our bones here and have something cold to drink. Little shoe shop. This is where we'll stay. This is one of the um, oldest buildings in the Bitola Pazar. Look at this angle. And it's right along the river so we've actually changed our mind we're going to come to this little place because it's more traditional and the other place didn't sell people <laughs> and we want beer so we're going to go here so this is the best um sparkling water kisla voda out there and there's a beer bitoska because we're in bitola so I'll have a bit of beer with Kathy and we're going to have some water. Nesravia. So you'll find little fountains all throughout the old part of town. Um, one year I was here with Kathy and we were joking about her washing her laundry here. <laughs> it's getting later in the day so uh, places are still open cafes and restaurants we just uh, we sat down for a beer and some cold Kisla Voda and um, the gentlemen who are sitting beside us were you know having some uh, wine and little nibbles and they were very very friendly they wanted to buy us a drink and then when we decided to get the bill they wanted to pay so very friendly in macedonia and very very nice of them to do so so we bought some fruit and kathy's gonna give it a little bit of a wash thank you Check this out. Susam sesame seeds. Seeds, nuts. Very cool, very old school. This guy's being funny. Ha 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 Dobro. Des refra. Ha 
He's just joking around. <coughs> Big on the sportswear here. So it's a little bit later in the afternoon and Kathy and I are at, are at a Satkarnitsa, which is basically like a sweet shop. And we're just on the edge of the um, old town here by the river. And what we've got here is called boza. And what boza is, is a fermented wheat drink. Um, <clears throat> I shall make it one of these days, but it's a very long process. <laughs> Um, it's uh, non-alcoholic, however, they say if you drink too much of it when it's very sunny, you might get a little bit of a buzz <laughs> due to the fermentation. Of course, I have some baklava, baklava, and Kathy has a rum ball. They do have more sweets inside, but they didn't have any tulumbi this time, but we're okay with that, right? And we're late because Kathy was on a shopping spree. And she bought a whole bunch of clothes. <laughs> um, if you're ever here in Bitola, do come to the bazaar because you can get some really good deals. And she got some beautiful, beautiful stuff um, that was, you know, very, very inexpensive compared to Canada or America or even other parts of Europe. All right, so we're going to enjoy Nostravia. And guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck here in Macedonia on Memories of Macedonia and we'll see you soon. Ciao!